I'm gonna cough. I'm gonna I'm gonna cough. <coughs> hey there, people who haven't left, and welcome to the first look tutorial and gameplay for Tempest Citadel. It looked interesting, and I was offered a key for it. So uh, we're gonna try it out and see what this game is. Uh, Tempest Citadel is a team manager game that puts you in command of a company of explorers marooned on a planet ravaged by endless storms. You are a high-level strategist and commander. The details of combat can be delegated to your officers. You will build a base and explore this planet, adapting your technology and crew to face unknown challenges. Okay, that sounds fun. Planet Indra, 8th of January, 2072. Big ship. Uh, this should short tutorial will show you the basics. Yes, it has tutorial in it. That means I can put tutorial in the video title. Boom. Uh, use the question mark help buttons and tooltips for more details. Current tutorial task is shown in the top left up here with an X button to skip. Uh, if there is no tutorial task shown, you're free to play on your own. Sometimes you need to have advanced time to reach next event in the campaign or allow your workers to complete projects. Okay. Click to read. That's the top right though. Awaken, Captain. The time has come. We have travelled further from our home than we could ever have dreamed. Everywhere I direct my optics and sensors, I can find none of the constellations or galaxies we saw in the skies above Terra. The stars are older here, the darkness of space is still pure, and the planet we were commissioned to colonize is- oh god. Is nowhere in sight. Uh, apparently scrolling also moves it up and down. And the mission is Sparks, or this- this lady's name is- okay, uh, yeah. I think the mission is Sparks. Uh, in its place, the ship has taken us to a world whose like we have never seen. We entered orbit only minutes ago after conducting repeated diagnostics tests on our navigation and propulsion systems. My findings are conclusive. This is no mistake. Everything they told us about this year-long voyage was simply a lie. This planet is and always was our destination, and now something has taken control and is drawing us into the atmosphere. From here on, I am no longer permitted to make executive decisions. This is why I've revived you early. You are the one who decides. I must ensure that any lingering effects of cryostasis have not impaired your consciousness, your reasoning, or your memories before I can relinquish control. So I must ask this of you before our true mission can begin. Tell me who you are. Uh, I'm captain of the Cedar. I am V... Yep. Thank you, captain. I am Aya. Uh, with call sign... Oh, it is her name. Okay. The senior systems officer and AI of this ship. As my programming directs, I am at this moment reviving the other five senior officers and informing them of our situation. The crew will remain in cryostasis until you direct otherwise. We'll enter the planet's atmosphere in 30 minutes. Continue. Check the vault. Click to read. Okay. There is something else, Captain. It seems that hearing your voice has unlocked a set of encrypted files on my mainframe. As they are addressed to you as my, as eyes only, only you will be able to access them. If they are from the Authority, they may detail our true mission parameters. Extract true mission from the vault. Specific items of importance to your mission are stored in the vault. These include items of significance to the mission, such as the briefing documents, as well as any historical or cultural data you may find on the planet. Selecting an item in the fragments list will highlight it in the collection. A summary of the item is found at the bottom and the full report is okay. True mission. Oh lord, did you remember that night we saw the Star Falls kids? Couldn't be an old and eight, I was much older, four of us, blah blah blah, no one believed it. Streak. Oh god, that's so much. When ready, close the panel, okay. Remember how 14 days later, announcement broke everything, being terrified, exhilarated, because you didn't anymore. Uh, what we call the Intercellar Gift wasn't a piece of wreckage from an alien vessel. It was a full-size shuttle pod containing blueprints, parts to build a spaceship, and a message. Somewhere out there, there was a civilization that offered untold technological secrets in exchange for help. Your mission was never to answer Colonized Solum, it was to answer this call. The planet of the Gift's origin, which we've named Indra... Is farther than you can imagine. Think you've spent a year. In truth, you've spent a year moving through hyperspace to reach part of the universe we can barely see. Hyperspace drive upon the cedar needs one vital component to start a jump. Original component from the interstellar gift. The scientists just called it Catalyst. Uh, you have arrived at Indra and your voyage there will have been expanded. 
it would have suspended the one catalyst we're given beyond reuse. Maybe the these wise aliens never intended for you to return home. We don't know for sure. At any rate, you need to scout the planet and find another one before you can come home, otherwise you never will. For what it's worth, I'm sorry I kept this from you. Uh, if you could only see and understand what these beings showed us, they were capable of in just a small piece of their knowledge. You'd know we had no choice. Terra can't sustain itself the way it's going. Terran company you're leading might not be military in name, but deep down you're a soldier. So do the mission, do it, come home, if for no other reason to, than to break my jaw after for this after you do. Haven't abandoned you, we believe in you, we know you're finding a way home, don't think of what we told you is a lie. See your true mission on this new planet, okay. Your mission is simple, go to Indra, learn from its civilization, study their technology, absorb their wisdom, and return home with the only thing that can keep us going. Okay, let this gift be hope. Uh, mission, establish a settlement on Solemn, which will grow into the uninhabited planet's first Terran colony in preparation for the first wave of settlers from Terra. Okay, so this is what we're supposed to be go doing, but it's not real. Okay, so that's our true mission, hyperspace. A key component of a hyperspace catalyst that is consumed as it ignites interstellar jump. The original catalyst was obtained from interstellar gift. Since Catalyst was consumed, we must fight. Okay, cool. I understand our present circumstances may be overwhelming. As I did, you'll feel outraged. You'll feel betrayed. Uh, as I did, you'll feel outraged. You'll feel betrayed. You'll feel abandoned to the fate of silent death for the greed of dark-hearted men. However, I'd ask, I'd ask you this. What is there to do but move forward and survive? Come from the deck. We can all see the new world. Or we can see the new world. Interesting. Electrical storm? <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. It's time for your first combat mission. You must wake some crew from cryo sleep and assign them to a squad to defend the ship. Captain, I realize you will still have many questions. We're not going to talk about getting hit by. Okay, no. Yep, 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 yep. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, this is not the time. Damage to our ship has rendered us unable to fly. We're in danger. So, uh, multiple light forms of considerable size and number closing in on our location, likely drawn by the commotion. Their movements suggest feral wildlife. I do not need to say what the harshness of our environment would do to their disposition. Scans show that the damage is serious. Repairs will take time. Fortunately, our cryo systems remain fully functional. We can immediately revive small crew for the operation. We will need soldiers to defend the ship against the herd while our engineers mend the ship. You'll have to choose composition of our team carefully. Uh, which of our crew should we revive first? Revive team from cryo. That's the only option I have, so. Oh, okay. Your crew has been deep in cryo sleep for their journey. Part of your crew has been brought into lighter cryo suspension, ready to be woken up. These crew members are listed on the left of this panel. Right click on a crew member to work, wake them up. Wake them up. Okay. So, wait. Wake stick, eight ball, beetle, snow, magic, bart. Open the squad panel. Your landing craft has limited capacity for squad members and auxiliary combatants. More advanced designs can expand this capacity. Right click to assign to squad. Okay. Done. Deploy squad. Deploy. Start battle. Oh, we fight like this? Okay. So they've got a they've got a stronger threat than us, I guess. Presumably, we can still beat them, but we'll see. Defend the ship from beasts while repairs are completed. Combat in Tempest Citadel is about creating best squad for each mission. Controlling your troops during battles is op op optional. Unlike an RTS, your troops can fight entire battles automatically. Their tactics are based on equipment and abilities you assign them. Okay. Okay. Engaging. In my defense on this one, they didn't tell me what to do, so... I'm just letting it roll for now. No one's on really low health yet. 
Okay. First blood achievement. Success. Our soldiers have defended the, defeated the alien creatures and protected the ship. A new wave of hostiles have been detected. Creatures, not uh, captain, not creatures. Humanoids with advanced equipment. They are launching a barrage of some kind of sleep gas. Our engineers don't stand a chance. Okay. And they're cool with the sleeping gas that no one is firing in there. So they stole our engineers. Senior production officer Malcolm Horcroft, callsign Hammer, reporting in, Captain. Might remember me as the old guy who put you under the table at a drinking contest the night before we left Terra. Then again, maybe you wouldn't. Operation was a success. Our soldiers drove the herd away long enough for my guys to fix the ship. We'll be airborne in a few. It ain't all candy and sweets, though. The group who attacked us didn't kill any of my engineers. They did make off with a piece of our terraform engine. Bonehawk's tracking them down. Don't worry, she'll find the bastards. Those animals out there, they were something else too. Ha. Huh. Makes our lions back home look like kittens. And something tells me the welcome-in party was just the white lightweights in the family. Uh, presumably because, you know, it's a game. And you have to start with the weaker ones and then you ramp it up. Uh, we're going to need to keep our soldiers out of cryostasis. Just my suggestion. My team's got enough to keep the ship together. But you'll need, also need to start bringing up other folks soon. Medics, researchers, takes a village boss and you're the chief. Okay. Evac. Off we go, I guess. Ugh. Are we going to get shot down again? Because... Oh, incidentally, uh, my mouse is off on this. I just, like, it happens on some games because of my 4K monitor. Uh, and on this one, it's uh, it's the same. So, like, right now, my mouse is over the Beast of Sunrise in the top right. But, like, right now, it's over the ship. It's, like, at the back of the ship. So that that gives you an idea. So just try, try and ignore it, guys. Uh, I'm sorry about that, but there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, senior scavenging officer Bonehawk at your service, Captain, because life's never without irony. When you see a drink in my hand, call me Brenda. What? Okay. I have locations of the tribesmen who stole our terraform drive. I mean, are they tribesmen if they kicked our ass? Uh, the fact that they managed to travel as far as they did in this kind of hostile terrain tells me they aren't simply resilient. They know this land and they know it well. I mean, wouldn't we, wouldn't we assume that? Okay. Uh, right now, they're still on the move. They hadn't, haven't made it back to their home base. It seems like... It, they haven't made it back to their home base, it seems like. But that's likely to change. If we don't act now, we may lose the terraform drive for good. And our mission will be lost. You can leave the scouting to me and the ship's scanners. We'll only need combatants for the dispatch team. And I'll have to move fast. Who should we send? You can view the whole planet from this panel. The world is largely wilderness shrouded in storms. But when you detect sites of interest, they will be marked in the map. Shaded areas show a range of your landing craft through the storms. Okay, as captain, you can decide which missions to undertake from the world map. Select your squad to investigate the site. You can change the squad's tactical style and attack to favor different formations and weapons. Okay, so... Launching the lander triggers fast time to give your ship time to travel. Current date and time controls are at the top center of the screen. Time is valuable and limited. Okay, so this is a bit like XCOM, seems like. So, like, you know, in the sense of the, the strategy world map thing. If you waste too much time and don't grow powerful, your opponents will crush you. In between missions, it is your decision to spend time on projects at the base or advance time, get on with the campaign. <clears throat> okay. Well, I didn't choose a team, though. You can split your squad into separate groups with different tactics and movement orders. Drag character portrait to move the character to a different fire team. Click on the icons of fire, being, be, fire team's title to... Okay. So, style... Aggression... Attack... Assault... Psy attacks... You use balance, yeah. Target priority. Target the smallest threat. Ready. Choose a formation. Uh. Which. Drag to a new Where fire to? team. Okay. 
Wait, why am I moving? Okay. Engaging. Uh huh. They're healing. But they're dying quite easy as well, so. What are you? Scavenger. Okay, that's why we moved her out. Our squad has destroyed all, uh, all resistance at Laboratory M6. I resort report preview. One wounded. Okay. You will usually be given, uh, given the choice of viewing a battle report after a battle. The ranks. Uh, this ranks the strongest units on each side and lets you know if everyone has been, if anyone has been crippled or fatally wounded. If you have medical points, you can spend them to heal your troops. Okay, so this is closed report. So eight ball was wounded. Uh, although it doesn't seem that bad. Uh, we killed some guys. We got some weapons, maybe? I don't know. Possibly. That was very unclear. Oh, we got to do the next one. Okay. Duster, reporting in, Captain. I know my age might not show it, but I'm the senior combat officer on board. The pursuit mission was only a partial success. We routed the enemy and took back the terraform drive, but we realized too late that the drive's core was removed. That one tribesman who got away must have taken it. Didn't see a single tribesman get away, but okay. Uh, we know which direction they went, but there's been a rise in electromagnetivity in the area. It'll take some time before we can pinpoint a location. In the meantime, Patch took some samples from the enemy's bodies to study their physiology. He said he'd have his findings ready soon. Also spoke with a soldier who was in the fight. Apparently, these beastmen have a war cry vulgar. Hmm. I keep wanting to call them aliens, but that's not right, is it? We're the invaders here. It's a deep dude. That's deep. You know, one thing I don't understand, like, weirdly, is why, um, why, why do sci-fi things always call Earth Terror? Because, like, it, I guess it sounds more sci-fi than Earth, but, like, wh when does that change happen? Do are people suddenly, like, you know what? I don't like calling it the Earth. We're, we're just going to call it Terra now, because fuck it, right? Captain, I need to speak to you. It's about the crew. Besides the six of us, seven with Officer Sparks and the crew members you have revived, rest of the crew currently remain in cryo sleep to extend the longevity of our food stores. Yet, whether asleep or awake, it, as it is, 100 living Terrans are supposed to be on board. Only something has gone wrong, Captain. 20 men and women have died in cryostasis. Cryotubes are slowly decom have slowed decomposition almost to nothing, but I've confirmed it. They died right at the start of the voyage all at the same time. Right now, only you and I know of this. Clearly, such a death toll could have disastrous impact on our crew if we let it be known. Panic could be the best case scenario. As such, I've already isolated cryotubes containing the deceased. Okay, discreetly, of course. As I see it, we have two options. Our first is simply leave them there. If we are to believe the wonders hidden in this world below, we may find a way to reverse what's happened to them. In the meantime, they will continue to use up energy. Uh, the other option is more practical. Rather than hold out for some fancy miracle, we can liquefy the bodies for resources to sustain the ship. Doing so would reduce energy use and increase the number of Terrans we can revive. I do not might mean to sound cruel, Captain. I could say that using their deaths to help the mission honors their sacrifice, but the truth is, dead is dead. I've not seen it undone. Liquefy for resources. I understand. I will not speak of this again unless it is needed. No one will know but us. I will leave the why of this tragedy unspoken. The fact alone that 20 people who now lie dead were distributed in all five rooms in the cryostasis deck, not to mention spread proportionally across all functional system disciplines, leaves little to be imagined. They were chosen. The pertinent question is by whom? Probably the AI, like it needed to keep us alive, so it killed some of them, most likely. Oh, but before I again neglect to formally introduce myself, my name is Huang Min, call sign Patch. As our superiors so cleverly thought to imply, I'm senior medical officer at your... Wait, your senior officers give you your call sign? Really? Is that a thing, guys? I thought it was just, like, what your mates called you that you, like, served with, and then you slowly... Maybe that's changed, but... Uh... I apologise that <clears throat> I could not meet you with you before our voyage. Had I known that I was the last of the crew to be collected, I would not have let myself be detained elsewhere. I had doubts as to who could bear the burden that comes with a mission like ours. 
After meeting you today, I can see that my doubts were unfounded. Welcome aboard, Captain. I've been here for quite a while, mate. That's a little... Uh, hmm. We intercepted a radio transmission not long ago, originating from the area in which we've been searching for these members of the so-called Volgar. If the ones who stole our drive corps have been struggling to find their way back on foot, it's likely they may be headed there now. We should send a team to follow the transmission source. If we hurry, we might be able to take back the drive corps before it's moved deeper into Volgari territory. Whoever you send, they better expect a gunfight. Select team and deploy. How do we select the team? It, okay, so we do this. So we can't change anything. Two scavengers, four soldiers. And then we just have this one here. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, they all seem to be islands, and small islands at that. It's a little weird. Sure. Engaging. Their weapons are fairly weak. Fairly weak. Our squad destroyed all, all resistance at military base M5. Site is now open to exploration and scavenging. Battle report. One wounded. Beetle is wounded again. Wait, was it Beetle? I don't remember if it was Beetle last time. Uh, explore underground bunkers for resources. Order your squad to explore and scavenge room by room. Anything you find is carried up to your ship. Grab as much as you can before the storms close in. Your base depends on resources for new development, facilities, and equipment. Several sites on the surface conceal underground bunkers full of valuable loot. Scavenge the land, okay. Okay. Okay, so discovered for scan, scrap machinery, tools, electronics, machinery, electronics. And then we've got discovered engineering bay, tools, times 12. And that seems to be all of it. Okay, 56 minutes left as well. That's kind of cool, I think. Uh, we secured the outpost from the Volgari. We can't, We I can see that being, you know, more interesting with bigger ones and, you know, and that kind of thing. Like, maybe extra stuff in there. Yeah, it, it could be interesting. Uh, we secured the out outpost from the Volgari, but we couldn't capture those that fled. If the drive call was ever there, it isn't anymore. The good news is, the outpost is ours now. I had my people take a look around. Their findings are several. One, that fight would have been a lot harder if we have arrived a week later than we did. The place was mostly still dormant. We found evidence to suggest that the Volgar had only arrived a few days earlier. Uh, the facilities at the outpost are largely intact, despite having been long abandoned. I've ordered a team to be begin preparing the base for use. The workshops and research facilities are highly advanced, so it will take time to properly understand how it all works. 3. The technology at the outpost bears a striking resemblance to that which powers our ship. This is expected. The ancients who sent the interstellar gift to Terra those years ago were presumed to be the masters of their planet, this planet. We can be sure that they're the ones who originally construct- okay, so we don't think it's the Volgar. Lastly, following from this, we can rule out the Volgar as being the ancient race who brought us here. Their tech is entirely different, could be the great evil we were warned about in Message of the Gift. Uh, I think they probably also okay. They also received a, a gift as well. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a guess at that. Seems seems to be seems to me like that would be a pretty uh view the status of my crew. Morale. Okay, they're both injured slightly. Alright. So so far I think it's an interesting concept and I like the game to a certain extent. I have a worry, though, that they're not going to focus on one aspect. And, I mean, the combat clearly isn't the place they've focused. So that's fine. As long as they've maybe focused on the strategy tactical 
uh, aspect, you know, like the the world and the building and all and research and all that kind of thing. As long as they focus on that, it'll be good. If they've if they've like if they've spent too much time being as broad as possible to get all the aspects of the game done, it may not shine in any place enough. And that's what I'm worried about so far. So far, you know, we've had some combat and we've had some tutorial stuff. It's it's you know, we're gonna have to wait and see. Cryo. Okay. I heard something strange before, Captain. It was after our emergency landing on the planet. My sensors detected a wave frequency which resembled a distress signal. However, the behavior of the wave was peculiar. Any repeated signal generated by a machine is expected to vary with in a range, small range due to interference. <clears throat> we can predict these variations even in this planet's unusual atmosphere and terrain. Finding patterns is how we isolate signals. The, this wave differed. Its variations were so chaotic that my human interface had to help intuit it. It was the difference between the even rhythm of a heartbeat and the erratic maelstrom of a brainwave. Captain, hear it again now. Sure, okay. Uh, okay, so creatures. Temple N6, where thou art. Track the signal to its... Okay. So we've gone there, and now we're deploying. It's not really telling me to do anything else. I assume I'm still following the... Holy crap, that's big. Okay, so let's switch this to... Caution. Reporting. Balanced. Okay. Engaging. Ha! Oh, he took damage. <gasps> oh, did someone die? Our squad has destroyed all resistance at Temple N6. Battle report. Uh, magic. What's what's wrong with him? Wounded. So they're all wounded. Noctilla Scourge. Hmm, okay. There is an ancient structure buried in the desert here. Our ship's comms ray is lit up, resonating with the core of the buried device. Whoever sent the interstellar gift led us to find this place and gave us the key to wake it. Oh, Captain, you won't see this. I imagine we're going to wake up something horrible. Something silent and horrible. Is it going to be Godzilla? Is that is that where we're leading to with the... Okay. That's a giant jellyfish? Giant mushroom? Giant jellyfish. Giant scepter. Okay, that's leaving. Oh, we're in Atlantis now, are we? Okay. Castle in the clouds. Beauty. My creators spent much time and effort attempting to endow my Selvedic self with my human self's understanding of this concept. The process spanned all trimesters of my development. In the end... They suffered, settled for a rough approximation of the idea which lacked one vital piece. Captain, I discovered that piece today. We could not confirm the source of the unusual distress signal. However, the site proved to be far more fruitful in its yield, an ancient citadel buried beneath the sands. When the exploratory team triggered its activation mechanism, I could feel the awakening. It compelled me to move to the outer deck and watch it rise. That was the moment. Though I do not breathe anymore, Captain, it recalled to me in me the memory of having my breath taken away. Okay, so she's a person who was turned into an android or an AI. Okay. <coughs> Gonna cough again. We have claimed a suitable for ourselves. It now looms above the clouds. Although many of its buildings remain dormant or broken, we may in time find the means to bring it all back to life just as once was done to me. Okay, so we're getting backstory on her as well. Using this citadel as base to get your research and engineering teams up and running. As this planet appears hostile, you should develop stronger weapon than pistols. Research and build the rifle for best results. Build six to equip the whole squad. Open the research panel. Research projects are grouped into topics called research spear spheres. Uh, new projects begin automatically as soon as they are available. 
It is up to you to direct research which branches to explore. Or explore? Maybe explore, I guess. And which to halt. Your choices will have a huge impact on the abilities of your base and crew over time. Sometimes you'll need to construct a new module or advance a campaign and to, to continue research in a sphere. So, rifle. So, we advance to next thing. Okay. Open the build panel. Before you can equip your squad with equipment, you must build it here. Construct new weapons and equipment from your scavenged resources. Okay. So build six. Recycle old equipment to claim their resources. I don't think we need to do that right now. Core. Core of the Citadel is protected by a large dome. It houses the remains of the ancient city, as well as modules to develop your interstellar craft. You can restore the citadel by building modules in the core. Slots here are special purpose and will only accept the okay, matching module. Power and cryo. Quarters. Okay. Core modules. Alright. Uh, ring. Expand your citadel, citadel by constructing new modules around the citadel's ring. Power and transport flows around the ring, connecting your modules together. The ring modules are based on new designs. You and your research team can... Okay. So, got like hydroponics, which gives... Requirement, it gives more food supply. Okay, cool. Alright. Uh, research biotech, I guess? <coughs> Normal. Uh, research rate, uh, projects completed. Construct hydroponics to access new research. Okay. Bio, hydroponics, archive. Alright, so that's other stuff. Uh, then we have the world. I guess we'll go to next event. Open equip panel. Okay. Open equip panel. Here you can modify your combat unit's equipment. Turn off auto equip. Right click to remove. Right click click to equip. Turn on auto equip. Expand the citadel. You can build modules to extend the citadel and provide places for your crew to work. If you're going to wake more crew from cryo, we will need food and housing modules. Construct a new module and supply food. So we go here and we go to the ring. We right click this and we construct that. Advance time. Okay. Wow, this is taking a little while. There we go. Beast spike back. Good day, Captain. My apologies for not reporting in sooner, but my work began as soon as I was awoken from cryostasis. There's scarcely an end in sight. My call sign is Athena, and I'm senior research officer of the Terran, this Terran company. In now having a base of operations near the surface, studying this world has become much less taxing. Thus, I dispatched a team to survey the area around our new ground settlement, Soon after we took control, when a team, member of my team was out scouting, they witnessed something more than a little worrying. I have asked Duster's scouts to confirm. Reports are true. A sizable Vulgari detachment is readying to attack the base. We've managed to assess their stores. It appears they've only bought minimum of supplies, which means they're planning a quick and brutal strike. We need to organize a defense team now. Like wild animals, the Vulgar mean to reclaim their territory, and they're out for blood. Okay, so... Squad. Uh, is anyone injured still? Doesn't look like anyone's injured still. Auxiliary. Can we wake wake someone up? Uh, engineer. Researcher. Surely we should make a wake a medic up, right? Oh, it takes time to wake them up? Oh. 
Whoops, I just returned Moon as well. Sorry, Moon, I didn't actually... Okay. Uh, wait, no, I want to squad. Where's squad? Here we go, squad. Okay, status, yeah. So... No. Engineering, cryo, status... Mission. Ah. No. Crap! Okay. See, like as I as I said before, this is fairly basic. Engaging. Um I, I, like as a game like this is the exact same map, you know. So like I'm I'm not gonna judge too harshly or too <laughs> hard. Did someone die? No, it doesn't look like it. I think they all have rifles. Squad has, squad has destroyed all resistance. There are two wounded. Beetle and Bart. Okay, I was hoping to put a medic in there, but... Siege took a heavier toll on our forces than I thought it would. These enemies, they don't behave like they did before. They didn't retreat, even when it was clear that they were going to lose. They're more savage now, vengeful. I had my men look through the remains of Volgaria encampment. The little supplies they had, they were locally procured. Some so fresh they were still wriggling. Whatever their heartland is, it has to be far enough that a supply line would be untenable, but not so far that it they let it stop them. Since our first encounter with the Volgar, we've suspected that they operate under a different code. It looks like they've come unhinged. They're a reckless bunch with terrifying strength and makes them dangerously unpredictable. I used to watch bull fights with my father as a kid until one match that ended like no other. That day he said to me, some bulls you just shouldn't dance with. Thank you, Duster. That's very poetic. Duster's weird. Okay, so next event soon. We'll put uh, uh, our medic in the auxiliaries there. We can't put... <sighs> Apparently we can't do it. Okay, cool. We can't put Moon in there either. To defeat a wide variety of areas. Uh, okay, prey on their weaknesses. Okay, so loadouts. Right, 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 right. Uh, let's advance time to the next event, I guess. So, yeah, the, the combat is fairly basic. It seems like. Um, the, uh, the other stuff seems decently in-depth. I'm not sure how in-depth it is, uh, though. You know, it's it's not, like, super, super simple from what I can see. It's not particularly complex either. Um, so, currently, currently I'm looking at this game as kind of like, a, yeah, it seems kind of fun. Uh, I don't know how much it would be. Uh, it's uh, Citadel. No, it's Tempest Citadel. Let's just look at that very quickly so we have that information for you. There we go. So, uh, I, I always find this to be reasonably important as well. Is like, if the price is... Okay, I don't know what the price is. It, it doesn't say. So... Afraid I can't help you on that one. I'd say, you know, like, uh, UK, UK money, I can't really speak because I'm not brilliant at conversion and everything like that. I can't really speak for, like, uh, you know, US money, but I, I'd say, like, 10 to 15 pounds would be acceptable for this. Um, so far, from what I can tell. It's always hard to tell without going more in depth to it, but, um, but yeah. It doesn't seem terrible. It doesn't seem like it was just, you know, mindlessly thrown together. So, that that's always good. Uh, now the team is requesting what they consider more reasonable working conditions, which consist of longer breaks, more supplies. During this exploratory phase, they were so desperate that after I denied them, threatened to bring matter direct to you directly. They they failed to realize these are extraordinary circumstances. I've already ensured that everyone on their team receive adequate rest and sustenance. I see no reason to appease their laziness. However, I gave my word to bring matter to you ourselves. I will not allow them to make a liar out of me. What are your orders? Continue as is. 
next event soon, okay? Tech update, extra resources. Athena tells me you have your new module design on, on the table, and I'm sure you'll there, there will be more to come. If we're going to build everything, we will need more resources. Find me some new mission sites, and we'll soon scavenge the materials for this build. I'm sure if enough time passes, we'll detect some suitable sites. Or, if needs must, I can dismantle our existing tech and recycle some resources. I don't think that that will be enough this time. So these appear to be researching, engineering. Okay. Oot. Right, we need to find that stuff. People in cryo sleep, but condition eighty three percent. Hydroponics, we can upgrade it? Oh, we are upgrading it, apparently. Alright, I'm not sure why I would do that, but we're doing that, so there you go. Uh got six rifles. Got a lot of machinery as well, actually. Nesting. My subordinates took every opportunity to express their discontent, but they delivered on their work quickly and efficiently. We'll soon learn everything there is to know about the ancient citadel. I took note of their morale as work progressed. True, it seemed important to them to make their feelings known to me, yet amused me to think how they would react if, if they knew how little I cared. I like you, Athena. We have also uncovered what appears to be a mystical artifact from the ancient civilization. Its inner workings go beyond our current understanding, but prelim preliminary tests have d demonstrated the artifact's ability to detect individual storm bodies along with, among other readings, their magnitude and trajectory. It's clear to me, given how meticulously it was built and how far more advanced it is to anything else we found in the Citadel, that this artifact was important to the ancients, but why? Captain, I can hear it again. The wave frequency has a, has a different point of origin now. However, I can confirm it is the same si si signal that which led us to our citadel. Initial scans of the area show moderate li levels of wildlife activity. Investigating the site will require a team of combatants to first clear the area before researchers can be safely deployed. Please advise... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's go. Squad. Why can't I? Um, I apparently can't add my medic, so I guess we'll just go. Engaging. Yeah. Oh lord. She <laughs> she dead or okay. KO. He down. Okay. Our squad has destroyed all resistance. Oh, we get a dead. Did did we get a dead? Critical wounds. Unit unit is uh, sorry, unit will be crippled and out of action without corrective augmentation. Oh, that's a shame. I wasn't allowed to add a medic, so I don't know what you want from me. Okay, scavenge location. Explore room. 13 minutes. Explore room. Okay. Explore room, explore room. Uh, what do we get there? Electronics. Okay. Explore room. Oh. Oh. Uh, discovered clinic, intel, comms history, scrap, biotech, machinery, tools, chems, electronics. Cool. We had four minutes left after all of that. Bloody hell. We are too late. The signal has ceased before our team reached the destination. In place of answer, however, we discovered the ruins of an ancient factory. It appears to have been used in the manufacture of airships before it was abandoned. None were left for us to salvage. No sign of hyperspace catalyst either. 
Our boon came from elsewhere. Among our finds were some blueprints and a collection of spare parts in near perfect condition. Hammer and Athena have sum surmised from this hall that we may be able to upgrade our ship engines. Upgrade will take some time to develop and fully integrate. In its place, we'll acquire the ability to travel to sites previously out of reach in order to procure more resources, claim more territory, and discover more of the ancient ancients' technology. I have been assured that the changes we have to make to our lander's infrastructure will not affect its interstellar capabilities. Should we obtain a hyperspace catalyst in the near future, we will still be able to return to Terra. Upgrade your landing ship to expand your range of operations. Storms in the area to visit to traverse. Stronger ship. Build a better engine. Expand your range. Turbojet. Ship panel. Ship. Interstellar craft. Okay. Uh, turbojet. Advanced time to build turbojet. Ah. See, I can't tell, like, how basic this is. Ah, okay, interesting. Uh, the Citadel bought a group of personnel, a small group of personnel out of deep cryostasis. You can now wake them up to join your crew, or leave them in, like, cryosleep until you are ready for them. To equip sniper. Okay. There we go. Take a few of them out. Next event soon. All right. Um. So yeah, I can't. The problem. The problem I have here. Gold struck. Let's just go through this and see what it is. Uh, heads up. We expanded our scope scouting for Volgari bases as we upgraded our ships. Caught something big. An ancient site turned enemy settlement. This ain't like the last time. Volgar have the whole place up and running. Strange readings. Powerful readings. They're working on something stronger than anything they've thrown at us. It's not giving me a good feeling. Haven't seen any tests run out of the settlement, but I say we hit them before they're ready. Name your team. Okay. So, squad. Uh, let's take an engineer. Medium load pistol works in engineering. Okay, put the sniper in, take magic out, and we'll put uh, lemon in, we'll put lemon in, we don't have any way to add in a, an auxiliary, maybe that's something else, and then we'll go here, and we'll fight it. Where to? Engaging. Ready, Commander. Oh. Our squad has destroyed all resistance. Medic points can be spent after battle by cleaning the blue heart next to wounded troops. Medic points reduce the severity of a wound, preventing crippling wounds and even fatalities. So we have a medic point. We can heal 8-ball and 8-ball will be good. And then we've got a scavenge location. Explore, 15 minutes. Explore, 15 minutes. Uh, what's this? Biolab. Explore, 15 minutes. Explore, 15 minutes. Explore, 15 minutes. Okay, so let's uh, search factory. Got an hour and six minutes left. Codex, arcane language. Uh, machinery and tools. Search, 15 minutes. Search, 15 minutes. Intel, ops report. Okay, and we return to base. It's an interesting way to do it. Your crew members gain individual experience as they work and complete missions. Over time, this experience will improve their health and skills as they rise through levels. This can also gain perks as they level up that allow special bonuses to boost their performance. Award your first perk now. Okay. Uh, open the perks. As crew gain experience, they gain perks. Okay. 
So, select a unit with a star. Okay, I see what you mean, yeah. Uh, right click, award a perk. So, duelist. Quickly, quick on the draw, deadly with, then deadly accurate. You have the knack of light weapons. What the hell's a light weapon? Okay, fine. So, he's got the duelist perk. Uh, how are we doing on time? Mm, uh, okay, so let's just have a quick look through. So, this cryo thing... Uh, I think it's quite cool. The morale, it seems to have a lot in here. Uh, no one's died, but I think someone's wounded, possibly. Um, yeah, Snow is has a crippled leg, requires augmentation. We haven't researched it yet. That's that's kind of cool. Uh, the This base seems a little bit basic, I have to say. We have the engineering bay, plus 2% engineering per turn, two engineers... Laboratories, research, yeah, let's build a laboratory. Uh, then we have our stores, we can recycle, we have our ship. Uh, again, it seems a little bit basic. I'm not sure if, like, you get different ships, if you get different bases, things like that. But it, it does seem a little bit, you know, base to me. Uh... Just priority. I uh, biology bonus, scavenge data. Okay, I don't exactly know how that works. And the vault, you get other things. Got a sense artifact. Uh, we have also uncovered what appears to be a mystical artifact from the ancient civilization. Clear to me. Blah blah blah. We know about that. Then we've got the map. Got the squads. Got the loadouts. Got the question marks about all of it. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, and then you got the chat. So, I'm a little bit on the fence about this one, to be honest. Like, I think it's a cool idea. It seems to take some ideas from XCOM, especially. Like, I get I get an XCOM, but we're the invaders, or we're, we're going to an enemy planet. Or just, like, a, another planet where there are enemies, I guess. Um, seems pretty cool. I like the idea. Uh, I'd say I'm probably not going to do a seven day series on this because it doesn't catch me enough to want to play it a whole load more. Like not another seven, seven episodes of videos. Um, I could maybe see myself playing this in some downtime just, you know, kind of uh, to see uh, to see a little bit more like how the game progresses and if it gets deeper. I have a feeling it'll get a little bit deeper, but maybe not as far as I'd like, because a lot of the games I like to play are, are very in-depth. I definitely think, uh, as long as it's not too expensive, uh, it's a nice it's a nice little game here, you know? So, again, like, I don't do scores, I don't say, you know, whether you should buy it or not, I leave all that shit up to you. From this basic thing, I hope you've got a decent idea of the game. Um, it seems kind of cool. Uh, I don't know that it's particularly anything groundbreaking or special, but it seems like some fun, you know? So, that's the best I can say. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It always helps out a lot. And, of course, I do really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.